लगना वसती दर्शन शिखरे धरणी तव लग्ना शशि निकलंक कले वनिमग्ना केशवद्रीता शुकर रूपा जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय केशवद्रीता हे जिशु कर रूपा जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे केशवद्रीता शुकर रूपा केशवद्रीता शुकर रूपा केशवद्रीता शुकर रूपा केशवद्रीता शुकर रूपा श्री यज्ञपति भगवान वराह देव की जगत गुरु शिल प्रौपाद की श्री कौल द्वीप की हरे कृष्णा परम सौभाग्य वी आर एक्सट्रीमली फॉर्चुनेट During the manifestation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and during those festivities, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jo leela bhumi hai, and we are on the pious lands where these pastimes have manifested, and we are circumambulating those places. We are seeing the places, and. we are listening to the past times as well we have reached the cold dweep while circumambulating this nav dweep dham as you all might be aware that this nav dweepa is the collection of nine islands or dweepas as a lotus leaf flower has eight petals and there is a center similarly the navdvip also has nine dvipas the one in the middle and the other nine as lotus petals so we started from antardvipa which is here in the middle then we went to simantadvip from there we move to godrum dweepa aur godrum dweep se aage badhe and from godrum we gradually pass towards shri kal madhya dweep mein hum gaye the yesterday we were at madhya dweepa aur madhya dweep and now we are in kol dweep chhota dweep hai this is a smaller island aur aur dweep and adjacent to this is ritu dweep so today we are going to circumambulate the kola dweepa and ritu dweepa together and the rest three we will circumambulate tomorrow and we will 
conclude the katha like this So here is the Kul Dweep, where we have reached. So how it was named as Kul Dweep and what are the specialities of this island or Dweepa and what limb of the Bhakti it denotes and what were the pastimes that happened here so we will see and listen to the past times as well it denotes pada seven bhakti that is serving the lotus feet of the lord and it is denoted by shri koladvipa in noda bhakti the Padasivan Bhakti Acharya or an ideal is Lakshmi Ji according to Srila Rupa Goswami and how Sri Lakshmi Ji or Goddess of Fortune constantly serves the lotus feet of her husband Lord and constantly she sits at the lotus feet of the Lord and massages her feet and that is Padasevanam or serving the lotus feet of the Lord and we should try to follow this when we listen this then the question might arise that Lakshmi ji had Lord Shri Vishnu present. So how are we going to perform this service? So, so should we massage the feet of the Archa Vigra that we have in our home? That is the deities. And in Pandrapur, there is a facility that the devotees can go to the Lord Vithal and they have touched they touch the feet of the lotus feet of the Lord that, that marble is diminishing day by day. Actually, this is not Father Sevanam. If you have the Lord manifested like Lo Goddess of Fortune Lakshmi Ji have not Narayana then it is something different but for us practically Padasevanam or serving the lotus feet of the Lord has different connotations so first is circumvallating the holy places that is the what we are doing, circumvallating Navdvipa. So, wherever the Lord has kept his feet on the ground and circumvallating that place and touching that lotus, the dust of the lotus feet of the Lord from that place comes under Padasevanam or the serving the lotus feet of the Lord. So it is almost like Pada Sevanam, service of the Lord. And if you, if I want to add more in this Pada Sevanam, then we have this deficit of not having the actual feet of the Lord. So if I ask you a question, who resides at the lotus feet of the Lord? So who resides at the lotus feet of the Lord? 
So the answer would be the exalted pure unalloyed devotees of the Lord preside at the lotus feet of the Lord. And that is why is our Acharya Esi Bhaktivedan Swami was called Prabhupad. What does Prabhupad means? Prabhu means the Lord and Pad means feet. So Esi Bhaktivedanta Saraswati Thakur Esi Bhakti Vedant Saraswati So Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati and Srila Esi Bhakti Vedan Swami and even Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj is called Bhagavad Pad. So, so they are all denoted as the lotus feet of the Lord. Sri Radha Govind Goswami Maharaj was is called as Krishna Pad. That means the lotus feet of the Lord. So Prabhupad, Bhagavad Pad, or Krishna Pad, they are all exalted devotees of the Lord and they are all considered as the lotus feet of the Lord. So, it Padasimna means to massage or the lotus feet of the Lord. So, but the as we don't have the direct feet, but if we serve the lotus feet of such exalted devotees as Bhagavad Pad, Krishna Pad, or Prabhupada, then it is Padasevanam Bhakti. We cannot, we cannot just ignore that we can't do Padasevanam because the Lord we doesn't manifest to us like Lakshmi ji has them but it is written in the name nine limbs of bhakti why because it has the meaning here so serving the lotus feet of exalted devotees comes under padasevanam which is done by goddess of fortune Lakshmi ji and the dvipa which denotes or symbolizes this place this bhakti slim is kola dvip so what does kola dvip means here it is a bengali word And kol means in Bengali vara. 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 Peak. So, par Bhagavan Varaha Dev ka avatar hua tha. Badi so here, Varaha Dev manifested on this place. This is a deep secret which you are going to listen today. So we all have heard about the past times of Varadev, but where did this happen? We don't know. But today we are going to learn that how it happened and where it happened. First of all, Kol means Varaha or Shukr. So as this is the place of Varaha Dev, that is why it is called Kolavadiv. So, if you see here in the map, the brown border is Panchvani. After crossing this, you get an entry to Kolavadiv. And here the Lord manifested as Varahadev. That is why 
it is also called as varaha kshetra or the place of varaha dev and this place is even difficult to achieve by even the demigods it is a transcendental place if you open your windows of mind then you will get click just listen carefully and if you have a question please raise your hand so this place is famous as kuliya mountain or pahar in chaitanya mahaprabhu's past times it is considered a transcendental place chaitanya mahaprabhu at the age of 24 years took sanyasa and he wanted to go to vraj vrindavan but he was brought to koladvipa instead so it means that vrindavan and koladvip are non different vrindavan has 12 forest and in koladvip is bahula van so braj vrindavan's bahula van which is extremely beautiful the same bahula van is presented as koladvip in navdvip and they are non different so chaitanya mahaprabhu when he came here for many hours constantly he danced and performed sankirtana so let's know why this place was named koladvipa this is situated at the west of use hum dekh sakte hain the ganges river and till today we can see them in shastras or the scriptures it says mentioned aur jaldi jaldi complete bhi ho jayega i can finish it fast but because this past time is new for all of you that is why i am giving you the turant kisi ko vishwas nahi verses so that you can understand and build your faith because sometimes people doubt that how so much auspiciousness or glorious a place can be so if i don't show you the play the verses then you won't have faith जरूर गुजराती में श्रद्धा न हो विषय तो पुरावा शू जरूर है कारण के कुरान में मोहम्मदे कहीं सही नहीं करी मोहम्मदे सिक्को कुरान में नहीं मारो श्रद्धा नो विषय put a seal or signature on quran e sharif so the scriptures are provided and we can understand better through the medium of these scriptures so why this place was named koladweep and how this place is attached to varaha dev we are going to understand satyuga katha ek shun sarvajan कुलदीप नाम का स्थान जिसका वर्णन शास्त्रों 
कोल्थी नेम्ड प्लेस विच इज मैं इन द शास्त्र एंड इट हैज पास टाइम ऑफ the lord in from satyuga bhakto so all the devotees listening to amrit yatra please listen carefully leave everything behind and just listen carefully vasudev naam ek brahman kumar satyuga mein in satyuga there was a brahmana whose name was was vasudev and he was brahmana because he was unmarried varah devir seva kare bar bar bhagwan varah dev ki bahut seva karta he used to serve lord varah dev mujhe nahi lagta hai bhagwan varah dev ki jaisa log seva karte honge and i don't think that many devotees worship varah mein to bahut kam log varah dev lekin varah because ram and krishna they are looking beautiful or they look beautiful but varah dev should be served draupadi devi prabhu aapke remembered varah dev draupadi ji said that when i listen to the past times of you then i realize that you do so much for this humanity for us you become a man you become a fish you become a lion and even prabhu aap suvar ban jate you became a hog or a shukar duniya ke kisi aadmi ko suvar banna ho if someone has to role bhi karna ho na act as a hog then also they will think a lot but you being the supreme personality of god head you take so many different forms and incarnations just for the sake of humanity that is the symbol of your mercy and nothing beyond it when i see varadev i remember this point that how much merciful the lord is that he even becomes a hog for the sake of humanity or devotees to satyug mein so in satyuga pranam ka brahman this vasudev brahman used to constantly serve varahadev puji kare upasana sarvada varahadev karaiya prarthana varah murti ki puja karta tha so he used to serve the deity or arsh vigra of the lord varahadev and constantly he used to pray vasati darshana shikhare dharani tav lagna he ji shashi ni kalang ka kale vani magna keshav drita शुकर रूपा जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे जय जगदीश हरे तो इस प्रकार भगवान वरा देव को प्रार्थना करता और प्रार्थना में क्या कहता प्रभु come significant or the purpose will be fulfilled only when i am able to see you otherwise it will it is just seeing the material things but i want to see you with these eyes and in this manner he used to pray and fell down 
on the ground and become unconscious. I'm not able to see the Lord and my life is just getting wasted. In this manner, he used to pray to the Lord and he used to fall down at the lotus feet of the Lord. And when a person is praying with an overwhelmed emotion, then after some time, Lord Varadev bestowed his mercy on this Vasudev Brahmana. And at that time, Lord Vishnu or Lord Vishnu, he manifested as Kol Roop or Varah Roop and manifested in front of this Brahmana. So this is no ordinary hog or vara. He is decorated with gems and he has had a huge body which touched the sky and it has so much effulgence and his hairs were shining like the moons. And when Vasudev Vipra saw this, he bowed down at the lotus feet of the Lord and he started crying. Then Vas Lord tells Vasudev, Nahi tri bhuvane Bhagavan Varah kya kehte hai? Navadvipa samadhama Nahi tri bhuvane Ati priya dhama mora Ache Sangopane Ati Priya Dhamma Mora Ache Sangopane Vasudev Vasudev Navadip Samadha It is Vasudev that there is no other place like Navadip in whole of this material universe and this these are the words of Lord Varadev himself when he says this Navadip is my favorite place जोर से बोलिए हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hey Krishna, Hey Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hey Ram, Hare Ram. चालू रखिए। Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण सुनव दीप सम धाम नाही त्रिभुवन है नवदीप जैसा धाम इस त्रिभुवन में नहीं है सो देयर इज नो प्लेस एज नवद्वीप and this is my favorite place why he adds further varth sah ache punya tirth jag sekhav achaye tha shastriya rasammat pehle antim line dekh lijiye shastra so let's see the last line first shastriya rasammat shastro ka praman hai so shastriya sabat mein this the reference from the shastras and it has been agreed upon according to the vedic injunctions that of all the holy places in this world from brahma varth present in this navadvip dham and specially in this koladvipa where you reside is sthan ki mahima kya hai and what is the glories of this place what are the glories of this place is haiya nashi lam hiranyasya dante vidariya ye wo sthan hai so this is that place where ब्रह्मा जी सेंट मनु एंड शत्रुपा टू परफॉर्म अ फायर यज्ञ सेक्रीफाइस टू और प्रजा की उत्पत्ति के लिए इस स्थान पर आने लगे तो हिरण्यक्ष ने क्रिएट द पॉपुलेशन रसातल में जाकर छिपा दिया बट हिरण्यक्ष हैड हिडन द होल अर्थ under the water and brahma ji maine prithvi ko prayed to me and i came and i took the earth on my teeth and protected it and not only that i killed hiranyaksh or liberated him yehi sthan hai roy maine devi prithvi ka uddhar karke and i took the earth and position it on the right place and this is the place where i stood up aur aaj phir se punah and today again i have manifested in front of you he says beautifully sarva tirth virajaye yadi इस दुनिया में जितने भी तीर्थ हैं, इन इफ तीर्थ नवदीप धाम में रहते हैं ऑल द होली प्लेसेस रिसाइड इन नवद्वीप धाम नवद्वीप से भी इस नवद्वीप धाम की सेवा करते हैं दे ऑल सर दिस नवद्वीप धाम नवद्वीप में रहकर नवद्वीप धाम की सेवा करते हैं और नवद्वीप वासे सर्व तीर्थ वास है इसलिए Yadi, that is the reason if somebody resides in navdvip or gaurmandal bhumi to navdvip vaase navdvip mein vaas karne se sarva tirth vaas hai sabhi tirthon mein vaas karne ka phal prapt it is equivalent to residing of residing in all the holy places vasudev tum so, oh vasudev you are great as you have served me main tumhe and i yug chal raha hai na i give you a benediction that in the upcoming kali yuga i will manifest as chaitanya mahaprabhu and i give you a benediction that in his past times you will be born and in this manner that vasudev so varadev in this koladvi and he varadev stayed there devira sharir 
जिस स्थान पर भगवान वराह देव प्रकट हुए थे भगवान वराह देव एक पर्वत के रूप में कन्वर्ट हो गए because maybe vasudev had told that please don't leave now you stay here so he changed his form to a mountain dekhi vasudev mane vicharu laghe rahe so is prakar se so in this manner this place was renamed as koladweep because lord kol or varadev manifested here maine aapko kaha tha dhyan तो कुछ पॉइंट आपको दिमाग में आए सो आई टोल्ड यू दैट इफ यू लिसन केयरफुली देन यू विल गेट वन पॉइंट द पॉइंट इज दैट व्हेन व्हेन दिस होल अर्थ वाज पृथ्वी के अंदर है तो वो भी रसातल में से चला गया होगा वाज तो फिर हिडन भगवान वराह कैसे थे इन द रसातल और द लोएस्ट प्लेसेस देन this koltweep also is in earth then it should also have gone but if it was still there that means this navadweep dham is not a part of this earth ye dikhta hai prithvi par it seems that it is on earth but it is above that kamal ko dekh rahe hain as we see this lotus it is above kichad mein hota hai as a lotus lives or stays in mud but still it is unaffected similarly the cold we fall though it may appear as it is on earth but it is not and it never gets diminished or annihilated as we heard that during the past time of parkandi rishi that everything was annihilated but not this tree ashwat similarly this navdvip dham also was not animated and it is a transcendental place chinmay dham aur dham virajit hain kol dvip mein aneko prakar ke darshan karne hain and we have to see to mahamandir ke sath sightings at navdvip aur kol dvip dham so let's do sankirtna and move ahead radhe meri swamini mera de ko da janam janam मोहदी जियो श्री वृंदवास श्री वृंदवास राधा तू बड़भागिनी कौन तपस्या की तीनों लोक के नात है सो तेरो वीन सो तेरो shrine of jo gaur kishor baba ji bil bhakti vinod thakur ji guru hue he is the bonafide spiritual master of shrila bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur and they search for the place of the birth place of chaitanya mahaprabhu so here the priest is present with us uttam govind prabhu ji and we request him to tell about the glories of this place hari krishna maharaj ki jai shri bihari da devaji maharaj ki jai sridhar singh jagannath da devaji maharaj unka asli janam sthan hai 
Bangladesh, Silet Chatter. So the place of his birth is Bangladesh. When he came to Vrindavan, he was just five, six years old. And he moved to Avtvitham. He crossed the Bihar Jharkhand forest and his spiritual master Jagatnand Goswami who is from the Nityanand family he started his Vrindavan Yatra. And his spiritual master Madhusudan Maharaj was his Shiksha Guru. उन्होंने बुरुज की चारों सिद्ध जगन्नाथ बाबा सिद्ध बाबा की सेवा किया जैसे रणवाले सिद्ध बाबा कामकुंड की सिद्ध बाबा कामवान में तो एक दिन उनके मन में वासना हुआ जे माधवगरी भिक्षा करके पाए माधवगरी करके ने के बिहारी के बोला बिहारी हम थोड़ा माधवगरी प्रसाद पाएंगे तो for arms nikal gaye madhuguri karne ke liye tab ja ke pahuncha ek and he reached to the home of the lower caste and the mother there said that this is, i can give you some money but you should not take food from us you should go to a uh, Brahmana's home. So, the, so Jagannath Das Babaji told that we want, I want to have chapati from you. And it became a huge point of discussion among the sannyasis and the Vaishnavas that how a Vaishnava can eat at the home of such a lower family's home. So, near that Gopinath temple, there is his Kamandal. And it is still present there at that place and is preserved there. So, he wanted to tell that I was begging for arms but, and she is not an ordinary woman because she is residing in Vrindavan and whoever has taken birth in Vrindavan they are automatically in the succession of Lord Sri Krishna and that is why I took Prasadam from her and eat. He did bhajan for 100 years. He said that there might be so much criticism because we had eaten in her home. So we will move to Navdvip. And this, we should go to a place where there is no error or offense and they marched on their feet and Gorkishwar Babaji at that time is almost 100 years old and he, his disciple took him in a basket and walked so when Chitane Mahaprabhu was crossing these places, he was performing Sankirtana. And Jagannathas Babaji is contemplating on this place. He said that and all the animals from the forest came together to see this saint. 
so his disciples said that all the animals have gathered to eat us up he said that you don't worry these are all the devotees of chaitanya mahaprabhu and we are fortunate to have their darshan so he told his disciple bihari that you should travel and all these are have gathered here to see a vaishnava so one day Bihari Maharaj became sick and he was sick till 15 days and he couldn't eat anything so he took the Tulsi ji offered to the deities and gave it to Bihari Desi and he became cured. So these, these are the deities that were served by Jagannathas Babaji. So you see, this these are the deities that he bought from Vrindavan and served them. Jagannathas Babaji Maharaj till the, his last breath was serving the lotus feet of the Lord by offering to seed leaves to them. He was too old. His eyes remained always closed. And Bihari Das Maharaj, his disciple, used to open his eyes. And then he used to see the Lord and offer the Tulsi Ji. हरे कृष्ण तो बहुत ही सुंदर प्रकार से यहाँ के जो पुजारी जी है उन्होंने वर्णन किया और हमें बहुत ही सुंदर प्रकार से यहाँ के दर्शन heard the glories of this place and we saw these deities so thanks a lot and in this manner we will continue our God Mandal Parikrama and we will show you the side things and we will listen the pastimes through Lal Govind Mar Prabhuji and what that what are the glories and importance of such places Jagannathas Babaji used to stay here and there is a tree where Jagannathas Baba Maharaj used to do Sankirtana and please stay and Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Lal Govindas Batayenge. Time Dunge to Batayenge. Jai Jai Shri Radha Ramana. Jaya Jaya Navala. किशोर जय गोपी चित चोर प्रभु जय जय माखन चोर श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की श्री नवद्वीप मायापुर धाम की जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपाद की उपस्थित हरे कृष्णा भगवत कथा अनुरागी आई वेलकम यू ऑल द डिवोटीज हु हैव गैदर्ड हियर आई स्पेशली वेलकम द सीनियर वैष्णवस ऑफ इंटरनेशनल सोसाइटी ऑफ कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस इज कॉन 
who have decorated this assembly, we also would like to welcome all who have gathered or are participating in this youth yatra, all the listeners who have connected through the medium of YouTube, Facebook, etc. And in particular, I would like to welcome the organizers of the eighth day of this Yatra or Katha, the host or organizers, the Canada, Suman Karki Ji, Sita Thapa Mataji, Sumina Ji, Helena Ji, and Supriya Ji. And from Bhopal, our great poet, Sri Narendra Gupta Ji and Vanna Gupta Ji, and their love and lay, their sons. He has a beautiful nature. Although we met a few months ago, but still we feel connected. So we welcome you all on the eighth day of this Parikrama and our humble obeisances at your lotus feet. Radhe Shyam. सो बहुत सुंदर गोविंद टीवी के द्वारा हम सब ने तो थ्रू द मीडियम ऑफ गोविंद टीवी इन द कोल द्वीप कोल माने भगवान वराह वो सब सो एज वी हर्ड हाउ इट वाज नेम्ड एज कोल द्वीप एंड महाराज की समाधि अंडर दिस कोल द्वीप देयर इज द श्राइन ऑफ आपने जगन्नाथ महाराज बाबा जी and he was a great siddha he lived for almost 175 years and when he wanted to see the lawn and then his disciples used to lift his eyelids and then only he was able to see the deities of the lord and shila prabhupad this uh, bona fide spiritual master bhakti siddhant saraswati and his guru maharaj was gorkishor baba ji and bhakti vinod thakur's benefit spiritual master was jagannath das baba ji maharaj so his shrine and bhajan kutir and his home where he used to sleep and chant that place is preserved and we are able to see this place this is the bed for jagannathas maharaj baba ji it might cost only for 2 300 rupees but see how much he has shila prabhupad used to say that actual krishna conscious means simple living and high thinking but offer is totally opposite we want to make our life high fi and we have so much degraded thoughts just see the shrine or bed of this sadhu or sanyasi this is his deity and today Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur made a temple here or a Gauriyamat. And this is his Samadhi or shrine. And this is the temple. So let's move forward. The first darshan is Kuliya Mountain. 
Then second is Jagannathas Babaji's shrine and bhajan kutir. The third one is the one which will melt our heart. This past time was written by Lochandas Thakur in Chaitanya Mangal and it is in Bengali so it is very difficult but once I got an opportunity to learn from a Bengali sannyasi and I jotted down a few things at that time. So there is a place which is called Mahaprabhu's body or home. If you see physically, it is under Navdweep city. But if you see according to Vedic injunctions, then it is in Koladweep. So Govind TV has already reached there. So this is the Dhameshwar temple and the pastime is like that. After taking sannyasa, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who was 24 year old at that time, his wife Vishnu Priyaji started worshipping this or venerating this deity and this is the only deity where Mahaprabhu's hands are not above but are straight as if he wants to embrace his wife or his devotees. So there is a huge deity of Mahaprabhu and when Mata Vishnu Priya was 16 years old, he took sannyasa and till the point she Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Dekhi, hat dekhi hai. Look at the hands here. He wants to embrace us. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. To Sanyas ke samayi. So during the Sanyas, Vishnu Priya Mataji was 16 year old and she lived till the age of 96 years and then she disappeared. And Mahaprabhu took sannyasa at the age of 24 years. So it means that this Dhameshwar Prabhu, his deity was it done constantly for 80 years by Vishnu Priya Mataji. And in this temple, Chitane Mahaprabhu's also there. If we get an opportunity to see, then it will be a great fortune. If it is not shown to everyone, but if a Pujari allows, then we can have the darshan because these are the sleepers that Mahaprabhu used to wear. And it is a huge so, paduka because a great personality has great feet. The pastime is in such manner that Chitane Mahaprabhu's father left this body and his elder brother also left his body 
and to sustain the family he started teaching grammar to his disciples and one time he wanted to do shrad for his father and elder brother and he goes to gaya ji and already he has shown two types that is bali leela where he was naughty which we heard to ye test de diya aur dusra nimai pandit ke roop mein and then as nimai pandit kashmiri aur ek se ek aur aur kis prakar se victored over kashmiri pandit etc and he showed his wisdom and intelligence to all of the world but the whole, the goal by which he came for which he came that is the mellows of love by shrimati radha rani that was still remaining and where did it manifest it in the life something happens that where krishna consciousness gets boosted and something or someone becomes a medium and for mahaprabhu it was gaya ji yatra when he went to gaya ji and there he saw the lotus feet of lord shri krishna and the devotees were chanting gopi geet when the temple was closed and he when he saw the lotus feet of the lord first time chaitanya mahaprabhu manifested the mellows of shrimati radha rani and he started dancing ecstatically he was feeling the mellows of separation from krishna he had eight symptoms of ecstatic love to unke chhatro ko aur duniya walon ko and his students and others thought that he may be he is suffering from some disease but it was not any ordinary disease it was the disease of love and he met ishwar puri and he took lotus feet of ishwar puri and asked to make disciple he knew or understood that he is lord himself and he is performing past times and how can i refuse the lord himself and he took this initiation from ishwar puri after coming back he closed all his avenues of livelihood and he engaged himself in chanting the holy names and he started performing sankirtana in shriva sangam etc but the problem is that the people of this material world couldn't understand the people of his village people used to say that he is gone mad or crazy his mind is destroyed and in this manner they started offending mahaprabhu and started fault finding in him and chaitanya mahaprabhu thought that oh my god what has happened i i came here to give them love and now they are offending and what shall i do to save them from offenses so the philosophical point here is that ki jisko mera apradh karna hai ninda karna hai karo sometimes we say that someone who offends me i don't care but i will do my work but it is it shouldn't we should not do something like that we are in the lineage of chaitanya mahaprabhu so we should try our best that we should follow such a kisi vyakti ko aparadh behavior that nobody should be able to offend us hum aacharan hi aisa kare taki if we behave in such a manner that nobody offends us at least we should try to do that press we should leave on the nature of the person 
So Mahaprabhu was shocked that these all are going to open the floodgates of hell. What should I do? And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thought that the, there is only one solution that is to take sannyas until the point I take sannyas they will not stop offending me first and second till the which point I will just stay in this village I came here to give love to the whole world so I should leave this village took the decision and Chitane Mahaprabhu called five people he didn't tell much people but four to five people he told that tomorrow I am going to take sannyas. Everybody was overwhelmed that what is the need of sannyas? But who can convince him? Chitane Mahaprabhu's wife, because we are here at the home of Vishnu Priya Mataji, his wife was just 16 year old. And she was not told, but she is wife. Where you have love, you get to know the behavior of the husband or spouse. So, Mahaprabhu is about to leave the next day. He has a plan to leave them when they're asleep. Everybody is sleeping. So Chaitanya Mangal, Lochandas Thakur writes, Prabhu Ravyagrata Dekhi Vishnu Priya Chandra Mukhi Kahe Ki Chugada Gada Sware कह कह प्राण नाथ हे जी मोरे शीर दियो हाथ सन्यास करी बेना की तू महाप्रभु उस दिन घर पर आए महाप्रभु केम टू होम Vishnu Priya told him to take a seat and she sat at his lotus feet and seeing him emotions who was like beautiful as goddess of fortune and was effulgent as moon she tells vehemently crying Please keep your hand on my head. And he, Mahaprabhu kept his hand on her head. And then she told that, that you promised me that you will not take sannyas. You're not taking sannyas. Mahaprabhu told that, who told you that? मुझे लोगों से ये समाचार मिला still that I got the news from people and as soon as I heard this my heart was shattered and if it is true then I will enter fire before you do that because I won't be able to live in separation with you. When it, Vishnu Priya Mata said like this, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tries to convince her that in this world there is nobody related to each other and Lord Shri Krishna is the only husband of ev for everyone. And beyond that, there is no relationship. 
रेस्ट एवरीथिंग इज मेटीरियल और पोटेंसी ऑफ द लॉ एवरीबडी कम्स अलोन एंड लिव्स अलोन पर देवी तुम्हारा नाम तो विष्णु प्रिया है ना एंड योर नेम इज विष्णु प्रिया विष्णु प्रिया है तुम विष्णु की प्रिया हो विष्णु ही तुम्हारा वास्तविक पति है सो विष्णु इज योर ओरिजिनल हस्बैंड इट इज ऑल मेंशन इन वर्सेस नाम विष्णु प्रिया सार्थक कर इहा चैतन्य महाप्रभु के तोर नाम विष्णु प्रिया सार्थक कर मीछा शोक ना कर चीते तुम्हारा नाम विष्णु प्रिया है तुम विष्णु की प्रिया हो विष्णु तुम्हारे वास्तविक पति है no is your husband i may live today and i might not be tomorrow the husbands of this world are till they are in this body and some even don't live even when they are alive mahaprabhu was telling her not to feel distressed and then chaitanya mahaprabhu gave her the four armed darshan to pacify her but mahaprabhu se patni buddhi nahi gayi still vishnu priya mata was seeing him as her husband and chaitanya mahaprabhu thought that it will not be appropriate to tell her the truth I promise you that I will not leave you. And he convinced her. Vishnu Priya Mata said that his mother asked that I heard that you are going to take sannyasa. He refused. Even Shachi Mata was thinking that he might leave, and he loves bottle god. and she bought the bottle god and prepared a dish for her so they both prepared this and they both were serving him but they are both unaware that this is the last meal after that he will leave both of them just think that the lord took so much trouble for us and forget about the lord but what about this vishnu priya who lived without her husband with from a young age of 16 year just for the welfare of the society and all of us when everybody slept even before the brahmurita shri chaitanya mahaprabhu mata shri pranam karke kshama yachi he bowed down at the lotus feet of her his mother and he left aur yahan par jis sthan par hum log aaye and here the place where we are yahan par rehti thi vastav this is the place of where vishnu priya used to reside mahaprabhu ka ye and ab ye vikrahi unke liye apna pati tha So this deity itself was her husband, and where she worshipped and venerated her for eighty years. And she had no much work, so she constantly used to chant Hari Nam. And after completing one round, she will keep one grain of rice. so we do 16 round then 16 rice mala hoti thi utne chawal ke dane rakhti thi whatever chanting she has done that much grains only she used to eat if she couldn't chant then she will skip the meal chawal ka dana is prakar se 
and in this manner she lived and did sankirtan for 80 years she was from an extremely affluent family she was extremely beautiful and the greatest thing that in 80 years vishnu priya mataji she never complained even once about her husband listen carefully there are two things in love first is love there are two things in love. First, I cannot live without the person I love. But the greater feat of love is that I cannot live without my beloved, but, but if he is stuck somewhere and he has some different desire, then to fulfill the desire of the beloved and to understand to feel that separation because it is the desire of the beloved is the greater sacrifice and far greater love. If anybody can understand that. This is the Dhameshwar Prabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's darshan. So let's proceed. Very near to this point is a beautiful sighting of Rudha Maya and Rudha Shiv darshan. Shri Prodha Maya, sorry, and Rudha Shiv. So, Prodha Maya means Shivji's wife, Parvati. And here, Parvati ji is called Prodha Maya. And what is her work? Durga, Parvati ji in the form of Durga Mata. She reveals the secrets of the Dham to the devotees. She opens the secret of the Dham, but for the materialist people, she protects the secret. So a materialist cannot understand, will not have, they will not have faith because Mata will not allow it as it is mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. So in this manner, Pruramaya, this holy place or dham is protected by, from this material world, but the spiritualist people are presented with this secret knowledge. So these are the darshan of Pruramaya and adjacent to her is Shivchi, who is the Shetrapal Shiv or Vridha Shiv. So Shetrapal means the protector of the area. And he is the protector of this Navdividam. He resides here and protects the Navdividam. This is a beautiful shivling here. So, here, Parikrama and Parikrama. 
तो बहुत सुंदर स्थान प्रोग्राम आया और क्षेत्रपाल वृद्ध शिव का दर्शन हम सब ने किया आइए एक बार जय जयकार करें श्री देवादिदेव महादेव की श्री पौड़ा माया की नवद्वीप मायापुर धाम की अब ये सब दर्शन करते हुए नाउ और हम आगे बढ़े वी शुड प्रोसीड फर्दर so the second last place in this called we pay samudragarh hamare priya ramaniya darshan mein se ek hai samudragarh this is one of my favorites samudragarh this samudragarh we have to go there then we have to cross it so by sitting in the boat for one or two hours This is a very beautiful place, and this is non-different than Dwarka Puri. As in Saurashtra Gujarat, we have Dwarka. That same Dwarka in Navdwipdham is Samudragarh, and it also denotes Ganga Sagar. We will listen about this past time. हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 आप कोई अनाउंसमेंट हो तो कर सकते हैं यस हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे सो बहुत ही सुंदर आज हम इस शिकोल द्वीप में विचरण कर रहे हैं और विचरण करते समय अनेक अनेक सुंदर दर्शन यहाँ पर आज हम कर पा रहे हैं हमारे गोविंद टीवी की हेल्प के कारण सो वंस अगेन थैंक यू वेरी मच टू गोविंद टीवी और बहुत ही सुंदर आज की इस कथा में हमने यह सुंदर दर्शन जो किया दैट इज श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु Uh, जो सन्यास uh, ग्रहण करने वाले थे प्रभु जी ने सुंदर श्रवण कराई है और भगवान जो कि इतने ऐश्वर्य से परिपूर्ण है और वह भगवान जो हम बद्ध जीवों पर करुणा करने के लिए आए हैं और करुणा के करते समय जब भगवान ने सोचा कि यू नो नाउ पीपल आर नॉट रिस्पेक्टिंग मी सिंस श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु वॉज वेरी नेटोरियस और लोग उनका uh, लोग उनको रिस्पेक्ट नहीं कर पा रहे थे लोग उनका अपराध कर रहे थे तो चैतन्य महाप्रभु ने दी थॉट ऑफ हैविंग सन्यास सो दैट साधु का अपराध ना हो और इस प्रकार उनका ये जो मिशन है और अच्छे से वो प्रस्थापित कर सके तो आज श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु की सुंदर दिव्य दर्शन हमें किए यहाँ पर और इसी के साथ बहुत ही सुंदर धामेश्वर महादेव धामेश्वर जी के दर्शन किए महाप्रभु का एंड देन चंपा हट्टी जैसे प्रभु जी ने भी बताया कुछ स्टंट पहले देर सो मेनी दर्शन दैट वी आर हैविंग थ्रू दिस यात्रा एंड देन विल हैव वन मोर वीप टू डिस्कवर यट बट बिफोर वी गो टू दैट वीप वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू अबाउट अवर अपकमिंग प्रोग्राम्स एंड ऑल तो यहाँ पर तो हम बहुत सुंदर श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु के जन्म स्थान में श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु की जन्म लीला को आस्वादन कर रहे हैं और इस पूरे नवदीप मंडल को हम विचरण करते हुए दर्शन कर पा रहे हैं और बहुत ही सुंदर आने वाले दिनों में प्रभु श्री राम का भी जन्मदिन आ रहा है राम रामनवमी आ रही है 
आने वाली मार्च अप्रैल महीने में तो उसी के अंतर्गत बहुत ही सुंदर हम एक और भागवत कथा श्रवण करेंगे जहां पर हम भगवान श्री राम की जन्म लीलाओं की कथा श्रवण करेंगे तो पुनः एक बार फिर से हमारे बीच में जो बहुत ही सुंदर भक्त है प्रजापति फैमिली इन्होंने यहाँ पर सुंदर सहयोग किया है और उनके इस सहयोग से हम एक बार फिर से भगवान श्री राम की इस दिव्य कथा को आस्वादन करेंगे तो दैट विल हैपन ऑन थर्टी ऑफ मार्च टिल फिफ्थ ऑफ अप्रैल आने वाली तीस मार्च से लेकर पाँच अप्रैल तक हम इस श्री राम कथा को श्रवण करेंगे और यही समय रहेगा सुबह आठ बजे से लेकर सॉरी रात को आठ बजे से लेकर ग्यारह बजे अमेरिका के लिए एंड इसके पश्चात इकतीस मार्च से लेकर छः अप्रैल तक भारत के लिए इस कथा को हम श्रवण करेंगे सो दैट विल सुबह साढ़े पाँच से सुबह साढ़े आठ बजे तक तो बहुत ही सुंदर श्री राम कथा का आयोजन हुआ है आ, इस कथा के अंतर्गत प्रभु श्री राम की कुछ हम दिव्य लीलाओं को आस्वादन करेंगे और इस प्रकार इसी नवदीप परिक्रमा के अंतर्गत हमने श्रवण किया कि एक भक्त है बहुत सुंदर जो भगवान श्री राम के भक्त हैं और प्रभु जी ने कथा श्रवण कराई थी बहुत सुंदर तो पुनः एक बार फिर से हम यहाँ पर आने वाले दिनों में भगवान श्री राम की लीला कथा को आस्वादन करेंगे तो आप सबको भी हम आमंत्रित करते हैं निमंत्रित करते हैं कि आप अपना स्किल कुछ इस प्रकार से मेंटेन कीजिएगा जिससे कि हम इस श्री राम कथा को आस्वादन कर सकें सो आइए हम श्रवण करते हैं प्रभु जी के उदाहरण से इस नवदीप मंदिर परिक्रमा की शेष कथा हरे कृष्ण श्री समुद्र से न राजा छील ये स्थान बड़ कृष्ण भक्त कृष्ण बिना नहीं जा परिक्रमा के दौरान हम सब समुद्र गढ़ पर आए हैं ड्यूरिंग दिलेशन नाउ वी आर एट समुद्र गढ़ विच इज नॉट डिफरेंट देन द्वारिका एंड गंगा सागर सो वट इज द हिस्ट्री नित्य अनंत प्रभु इज टेलिंग जीव गोस्वामी एक्सेट्रा इट इज मैं किंग उसने बस समुद्र से Even I am learning Bengali. If somebody is a big knows Bengali, then you can correct me. ऐसे लोग ही कृष्ण और कृष्ण प्रेम प्राप्त कर सकते हैं सच पीपल कैन ओनली अचीव कृष्ण प्रेम आई हर्व दिस फ्रॉम गुरुदेव इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड देन यू हैव टू फोगेट दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड जगदीश यू हैव टू फोगेट दिस वर्ल्ड और जगत सोशल मीडिया लॉर्ड 
So, Sri Samudra Sen was a king and a great devotee of the Lord. And what happened? On other hand, so this is at the time of Dwapariya. In Hastinapur, Dharamraj Yudhishthir was performing a great Rajasu Yajna, which he performed. So for that, he wanted to win the whole world. So he sent his four brothers in all the four directions. And Krishna was accompanying Arjuna. And then Tarasan, etc. happened. But this beam was proceeding towards Bengal, Mayapur. So Bhim Sen, they all wanted to live the win the whole. And at that time, Sri Samudra Sen, a great devotee of Lord Sri Krishna, used to rule here. And Bhim came here with his army. And they surrounded the Samudra Gard. And they wanted to win him over. The, this king was a devotee, but he was he was not a weakling. People think that a devotee is a weakling. Don't test him much. Till the point he is humble, till that point he is good. But Bhim came and he challenged Samudragar and surrounded the kingdom with his army. So Samudra Sen thought or saw that these are also devotees of Lord. As I am also a devotee of the Lord. Samudra Sen thought that I am just a small devotee. But for Pandavas, Krishna is everything. So he thinks if I capture Bhim and win him over, then to protect him, Yadupati Krishna will come here. But how will he, you win? Because you're already surrounded by his army, but he was no less a person who lives on the banks of the sea. The art becomes as huge as a sea. When you get association, it will have a effect on us. See, Dwarika Dhish was residing on the banks of sea and he gave everything when Sudama came to him. So he also used to live near the sea and his heart was huge. He understood that if Bhim will be in trouble, then Lord Sri Krishna will arrive because he always come when Pandavas are in trouble. Raj, this king is making a plan. If I scare Bhima, then Seeing the distress of Bhim, Lord Hari, Lord Shri Krishna will come to show mercy on him. 
he will not have mercy on me but he will have mercy on for bhim and then in this manner he will come to my kingdom the kingdom of me the servant of the lord and without any trouble i will have the sighting of lord shri krishna So, till the point the, so, the king has not done anything but now thinking this he told his army to get ready and the king samudra sen decorated his army he took huge elephants and a huge fleet of soldiers he started for the battleground and they fought courageously he scared bhim The, the king knew that troubling him will be a question of offense so the work was not correct but his mellows were correct so he was remembering lord shri krishna he started attacking bhima after contemplating lord shri krishna and as the he has taken the name of the lord and shoot it the arrow that will be powerful and bhima became scared and he started losing and he became scared and further it is added The king attacked. He said that this is the easy way to have the sighting of the Lord. So he attacked Bhima. And Bhima was remembering Lord Shri Krishna. And he had this faith that the Lord will protect him. He was worried that Krishna is the Lord of Pandavas and if we lose, then it will not be defame for only us but also for the Lord himself. So there will be these two losses. So Bhim started calling Krishna with so much emotion and listening that because Krishna is merciful and he manifested there to protect Bhim. So, if Samudra Sen had 
started chanting the holy names or performed ekadashi prayer then also he would not have manifested by just capturing one person he could see the lord purva ghatana shri samudra sen matra dekhe ek jana bhagwan shri krishna sham sundar lord shri krishna samudra sen mein manifested ke sundar roop ka darshan kiya and the king shri samudra sen saw the sighting or darshan of the lord and he says that you are lord krishna jagannath and you can liberate the sin of prabhu the the grave sinners it's i just want to clarify one thing i just wanted to see you and i cannot leave navdweep as it is my kingdom and that is my responsibility that is why i did this offense please forgive me i fought this bhim and captured him you came and i saw you So i just want to see you as goranga and that is my only desire goranga roop ko dekhne ki ichha hai to bhagwan shri krishna khade hain then lord shri krishna is standing and he turned into goranga goranga roop ka darshan wo bahut purana purani chhavi yahan par hai ye jo this is the oldest dadi wale hai समुद्र से राजा है उनकी पत्नी है और उनकी पिक्चर और इमेज दिस ओल्ड पर्सन इज किंग सुमद्र सेन एंड हिज वाइफ लेकिन एंड दिस इज गुरंग महाप्रभु ये सारी छवि हमारे पास यहां पर दर्शनीय है समुद्र से राजा भगवान श्री कृष्ण के चरण और इस प्रकार का दर्शन यहां पर किए इस इस प्रसंग को भीम तो नहीं समझ पाए तो भीम नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस, समुद्र से हिम परफॉर्म फीट सक्सेसफुली गोविंद टीवी इज हैज रीच दिस प्लेस दिस ब्यूटीफुल प्लेस दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल दर्शन हेयर क्या हुआ ये बहुत वट है this is the capital of samudra sen and here you have beautiful thakur ji and this place is samudra gad aap dekhiye upar shri samudra gad radha kya leta hai mujhe ulta dikhai deta hai wo bhi radha mandir jo bhi radha govind mandir jaye to samudra gad mein shri radha govind mandir yahan par darshan hai and here What? is the darshan of radha govind and here is another past time what happened so samudra or the sea was talking or having conversation with ganga ji and he tells ganga ji that you are extremely fortunate shri chaitanya mahaprabhu that lord chaitanya mahaprabhu manifested at your banks and Have performed her his past times there. Ganga ji said that yeah, it is my extreme fortune. But he stayed here only for twenty four hours, and then he will come to you. He will come to Samudra. That is Jagannath Puri is on the banks of the sea. So she said that. Navdweep is on the banks of Ganga ji, but Jagannath Puri on the banks of the sea. So he will stay here for twenty-four hours, but after that he will come to you. Then Samudra said beautifully, "Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never leaves Navdweep. He is eternally present here, and if he goes to." 
Jagannath Puri, he goes in another form because he stays eternally in Navdweep. And I want to request you, he will stay in Jagannath Puri for very less time. So please give me a place here. If you can give me a place here. And from that day, Samudra or the sea started residing along with Gangaji here. That is why it is called Ganga Sagar. So there is one Ganga Sagar there, but there is another here as well. Because this sea wanted to have eternal sighting of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So today's, so the last darshan of this Koldweep is Champa Hut. This is a very beautiful place. They're about to reach there. So this is Champa Hati. It is considered inside Koldweep. And is considered as a part of Ritudvip as well. So, Nityanand Prabhu says, this Champahati is non-different from Khadir 1 of Rintavan. And here, where Champaklata Sakhi used to make garland of the Lord and used to offer it to the Lord. And in this place also, there are beautiful Champak flowers and she offers to the Lord. But when Kaliyu came, no, the gardeners started plucking this flowers and selling so they wanted they started selling in the market that is why it is called champa hut hut means the market and the flowers so the beautiful thing is that here jaydev swami and his wife patmavati used to stay here and he was writing keet govind so one time the king Lakshman Sen was ruling this place. So, Jaydev Goswami was and Padmavati were residing and used to write in Gong. And he was the king was a devotee of Jagannath. He wanted to listen and read. So he changed his clothes and he went to his the hermitage of Jadev Goswami and started reading and eventually he told that these are the deities served by Jagannath Jag Jadev Goswami he requested that you stay in Champahati in Navdweep and you write your poetry etc so this is yeah. so these are the verses of Jaydev Goswami's Geet Govind and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu manifested in front of Jaydev Goswami and told that I am going to take sannyas so you go to and I will go to Jagannath Puri and listen to your song so he gave the permission or order to write Geet Govind and told that you should leave Jagannath Puri. Oh, you should leave Navdipab and move to Jagannath Puri. Chakti Das, aap sabhi ko jo hum Gaur Mandal ke darshan kara rahe hai. उसमें हम इस स्थान पे खड़े हैं वह है रितु इस इस प्लेस और रितु द्वीप के अंतर रितु द्वीप दिस इस गौर गदाधर टेंपल 
एंड है द पुजारी जी स्थिति प्रभु इज प्रेजेंट है and he takes care of the dts here so i will request him to share the past times and glories of chitane mahaprabhu and nitin hari krishna bhai sagriba sindhu bhai vai ke pati da naam pavane prabhu vishnu ve bho namo namo hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare पहले मेरे गुरु महाराज श्री भक्तिभूषण भागवत महाराज चरण कमल में शास्त्र का दंडवाद प्रणाम करते हैं उनका पश्चात अभय चरण अरविंद स्वामी महाराज का दंडवाद प्रणाम करते हैं उनके पश्चात गोपाल कृष्ण महाराज का शास्त्र का दंडवाद प्रणाम करती है उनका भक्त जो आए उनके सब का दंडवाद प्रणाम करते हुए आवे उनका आदेश हुआ है जहाँ हमारा गौर गदाधर का महिमा और चंपाहाटी का महिमा ऋतुदेवी का महिमा बताने के लिए मैं यह भी कशिश करूँगा आप लोग जहाँ पर आ रहा है इस स्थान so का नाम चंपाहाटी चंपाहाटी मतलब क्या इस पर की पहले एंड व्हाट डज इट मीन इट इज अ ट्री ऑफ चंप एंड देयर वाज सो मेनी फ्लावर्स चंपा का बगीचा देयर वाज अ गार्डन ऑफ चंपा सुगंध भी होता है एंड इट हैज ब्यूटीफुल फ्रेग्रेंस एंड द पीपल इस गांव का नाम स्टार्टेड सेलिंग दिस फ्लावर दैट इज व्हाई place is called champahati and the second meaning is the ashtasakhi is one name is champa who used to offer these flowers to the lord divankar mata gaur gadadhar prabhu hai bahut hi prachin vigra hai ritu ka artha kya hai ritu dwi means hamara bhav ritu mein season in india we have six seasons and before महाप्रभुसिंग the king of the seasons is basan aapka ritu mein bhagwan gauranga sundar aavirbhav ho gaye aam paanch and in your season became manifested aapka ansaran karenge and we all will follow that is why this place is called ritu dweep is prakar jeev ka swarup kya hai jeev ka and it is the form of living entity so what is the सिंपल वृंदावन में जो ऑफ ऋतु द्वीप इज राधा कुंड एंड श्याम कुंड आर फेमस इन वृंदावन सिमिलरली स्वरूप है चंपा हाटी तो बहुत सुंदर स्थान सिग्निफाइज राधा कुंड अभी बताते हूं चंपा ऋतु द्वीप का बात हो गया अभी बताते हूं गौर गदाधर जो विग्रह दर्शन कर रहा है सो द दीति इज हियर विग्रह पर एस्टेब्लिश्ड 500 इयर्स बिफोर व्हेन महाप्रभु केम एंड ही यूज्ड टू कम डेली टू परफॉर्म पास्ट टाइम्स हियर बीजो बनीनाथ का मकान है सो दिस इज द होम ऑफ बीजो धनीनाथ बनीनाथ महाप्रभु लीला करने के लिए आए थे 24 वचन महाप्रभु नौबत दिन में थे 24 वचन पश्चात गौरांग और महाप्रभु उनका नाम चेतन महाप्रभु श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु टुक इनिशिएशन एंड बिकेम चैतन्य महाप्रभु जाने का पहले एंड ही इज गोइंग टू बीजो बनीनाथपुरी एंड बिफोर दैट ही कम्स टू दिस प्लेस करके कहा था हे प्रभु मेरे घर में रुकिए महाप्रभु बोले माय एंड ही इज रिक्वेस्टेड टू स्टे नहीं रहूंगा इन आवर होम बनीनाथ उनका चरण पकड़ लेकर इंतजार रोने एंड बनीनाथ स्टार्टेड क्राइंग एंड उनका पास में रहूंगा टुक हिज फीट एंड then chitane mahaprabhu promised that i will live here so this sthapan kiya hai to ye gurudev these deities were established is sthan ka vishishta itihas ya historical place jaydev goswami ka naam this is a historical place geet goswami ke radhanath swami maharaj ka jo shishya hota hai na geet govind samaman ta duniya mein radhanath swami ka commentary so bahut sundar hai mai commentaries of radhanath goswami are beautiful तो राधानाथ स्वामी का बहुत बहुत सुंदर हरिकथा सुनाते थे तो 
इस पर कि जयदेव गोस्वामी पाद हमारा संप्रदाय का सबसे बढ़िया गोस्वामी थे वो भगवान का लीला वर्णन किया है गीत गोविंद में अर्थ क्या है भगवान गोविंद राधा रानी के चरण धूल मस्तक में करने के लिए भीख मांगते हैं इस आस्किंग जयदेव गोस्वामी सिंगिंग दैट दिस कैन नॉट राइट एंड हिज वाइफ दैट यू मेक प्रसादम एंड आई विल गो एंड टेक अ बात भगवान हिमसेल्फ मैनिफेस्टेड एज जयदेव एंड ही टोल्ड दैट यू गिव मी प्रसादम आई एम वेरी हंग्री प्रसाद ग्रहण करके एंड ही टेक्स द प्रसाद एंड the lord himself completes that and he disappears well prasad kha raha hai the real kha raha hai mujhe prasad kyun nahi de raha god jadev goswami was kaha tha na na mai abhi ganga taking so ab jadev goswami unka ghar mein jab gaya hai so dekhe bhagwan when he came back and he realized that the lord's lotus feet and his fragrance was there and he understood the, the lord has written it he prabhu sham sundar mujhe itna kripa said that you have been so merciful i could write this verse and you completed it and he started rolling on the ground and she said that he told that you have you are extremely fortunate please bless me to is kaan par lutput kha raha hai isliye hamara sampradaya ka jo and started rolling on this earth this place it is mentioned varnan kiya hai jaydev bhog ke liye jo bindu kripa kare deho tare ek bindu jaydev goswami jo prema jaydev goswami ek bindu mujhe daya karke even one nectar of this devotion we should taste bhagwan jaydev goswami jaydev jagannath dev krishan ji gaurang mahaprabhu ye jaydev goswami ke je pad hai hazar saal ka pahe leke kirtan kiya hai wo bhagwan sakshat mandir chhod kar ke kahan jagannath mandir se bagicha mein chal ja raha hai to hum ek pad aapka sunate ho smarati mana mama krita parihasam राशे हरे मिया बीत विलासम स्मरति मन मम कृत परिहास संचर दर्शुद मधुर धनी तो मुकरित मनवंश बलित दिगंचल चंचल मौलिक पोल विलोद वशंस राशे हरि मिह बीत विलास स्मरति मनो मम कृत परिहास स्मरति मन मम कृत परिहास श्री जय देव भनित अति सुंदर महना महना मधुरी पूर्वा हरि चरण स्मरण संप्रति हरि बोल हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मन तो कर रहा था कि और दो पांच पद हो जाते माय हार्ट वाज feeling that we should have four five but, but we have to circumlate one more dweep yahan par today hamara kol dweep samapt hota hai so here this kol dweep is concluded aur kol dweep ke baad and from here aata hai ritu dweep it the ritu dweep comes and this ritu dweep denotes 
आउट ऑफ द नाइन लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति अर्चन भक्ति अर्चन भक्ति को प्रतिपादित करता है दैट इज वेनरेशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड छह ऋतु फिर सिक्स सीजंस प्रभु की सेवा करती है सर्व द लॉर्ड अमेरिका कनाडा में रहने वालों को छह ऋतु भी नहीं पता होगा the residents of us canada don't even know the six feathers but in our bharat we have six seasons ek hai vasant ritu first is vasant jo hamare sanatan ganana ke anusar magh maas mein aati hai which comes in magh maas or according to english in march or april दूसरी है ग्रीष्म ऋतु सेकेंड इज ग्रीष्म और जो सनातन कैलेंडर के अनुसार अकॉर्डिंग टू द वैदिक कैलेंडर इज इन ज्येष्ठ और अषाढ़ और इंग्लिश महीने एंड इन अकॉर्डिंग टू इंग्लिश मंथ्स अप्रैल टू जून तीसरी है वर्षा ऋतु थर्ड इज द रेनी सीजन होती है व्हिच इज इन अषाढ़ जून और अगस्त में होती है एंड इन जून एंड अगस्त अकॉर्डिंग टू इंग्लिश the sharad ritu padti hai which is in ashwin sar august aur october mein hoti hai which is in august and october panchvi ritu hai hemant ritu so the fifth is hemant aur posh mahine which is in kartik to posh aur english mahine ki that is the, according to english november mein october to november aur chathi ritu hai and the sixth one is sheet rishtu that is winter ye mag aur falgun mein aati hai which comes in from mag to falgun from english december till february shri chaitanya mahaprabhu jab prakat hue to ben chaitanya mahaprabhu manifested seva ke liye to serve him ek sath prakat hue all the six seasons manifested together hum to ye parikrama ya kefit when we go to ritu dwip mein aap sakamle even today if you enter there it is a beautiful place and din mein in one day you will feel these six seasons in one day in this ritu dwip so bahut sundar ye ritu dwip hai so this is a beautiful ritu dwip ke naitrutva mein and under the flagship of basant ritu all the other seasons serve the lord here mujhe ki baat ye hai shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ki kaun si leela hui so chaitanya mahaprabhu's past time happened here kirtan karte hue he was doing sankirtana with his associates and he came to ritu dweep shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ko and after coming here aur he started remembering gocharan leela braj mein jo gocharan leela karte hai na shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ko gau mata ka smaran hua aaya and he started remembering the cows gopal ka smaran ho and his gopas his friends aur zor zor se uche swar se gau mata ko pukarne lage he started calling them in high pitch voice jai go mata जय गोपाल जय गो माता जय गोपाल भक्त वत्सल प्रभु दीन दयाल भक्त वत्सल प्रभु दीन दयाल श्रीदाम सुदाम सुबल अनेक शखाओ को गौ माता को पुकार रहे सो ही स्टार्टेड कॉलिंग हिज फ्रेंड्स एंड द काउस चैतन्य महाप्रभु के बाद नित्यनंद प्रभु केम आफ्टर चैतन्य महाप्रभु ही और महाप्रभु बिकेम एक्साइटिंग रिमेंबरिंग चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड ही स्टार्टेड क्राइंग एंड डांसिंग और आगे बढ़े एंड इफ वी मूव फर्दर there is a beautiful place here and that is radha kund and shyamakund 
यू कैन सी इस राधा कुंड और श्याम कुंड के विषय में सर इज मेंशन दैट इतने प्रभु सेड अबाउट दिस राधा कुंड श्याम कुंड त्रिजगते नाही पाए भक्ते र भजन स्थान जान तीनों जगत में that in the whole material universe there is no other place like this in the entire universe why yahan par koi aadmi keval reh jata hai karna because if someone just stays here basati jar jo vyakti yahan par basega rahega prem dhan labh tar use will automatically get the love of the lord ye bangla bhasha mein radha kund likha hai to su shital radha kund hai ye तो यहाँ पर यदि कोई वास करता है केवल यहाँ वास करने इफ समी जस्ट रिजाइड हेयर देन यू विल अचीव द प्योर डिवोशन सर्विस टूवर्स द लॉर्ड एंड अनलॉय डिवोशन टूवर्स द लॉर्ड एंड लव फॉर द लॉर्ड ये राधा कुंड का ये बहुत सुंदर स्थान है और हम आगे बढ़े इफ यू मूव फर्दर There is one more place that is Vidyanagar. Vidyanagar, four Ved, fourth Kala. So the four Vedas, sixty-four arts, and it the symbolizes all the sciences. So Brahma Ji, Shiv Ji, and all the sages have given the knowledge of all types of. नॉलेज का कोई गुणगान करता है सो इफ समबडी ग्लोरीफाइज चेतन महाप्रभु इन दिस प्लेस शिक्षक ही इज कंसीडर्ड एज द बिगेस्ट प्रीचर दिस वन एंड ही इज अनटेस्ट बाय अनहैप्पीनेस और नगर में बड़े-बड़े ऋषि मुनियों ने बड़ी-बड़ी विद्या प्राप्त की है प्योर पुरुष नित्यानंद प्रभु का एक खुदा है नित्यानंद Prabhu gives the list that if Sri Valmiki Muni on this place wrote on this place Ramayana on this place, that means that he got the poetic art from this place. को काव्य रस मिला और बहुत सुंदर रामायण की रचना की है नारद जी की कृपा से वो यहाँ पर आए एंड ही केम बाय द मर्सी ऑफ नारद मुनि धनवंतरी आसी है था आयुर्वेद पाए एंड धनवंतरी गॉड आयुर्वेद आफ्टर कमिंग एयर इन विद्यानगर दीज आर द ग्लोरीज ऑफ विद्यानगर वी आर डिस्कसिंग हेयर विश्वामित्र विश्वामित्र सीखी जाए और विश्वामित्र जैसे बड़े बड़े ऋषि धनुर्विद्या सीख कर यहाँ से गए लर्न द आर्ट ऑफ आर्चरी फ्रॉम हेयर की सबसे बड़ी यूनिवर्सिटी यही मानी जाएगी सो इट शुड बी कंसीडर्ड टू बी गेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी शौनक आदि आल्सो केम हेयर शौनक आदि ऋषि मुनि ये जो वेद पुराण के मंत्र जो and the chant the verses of vedas etc where did they learn it to shonakadi rishi gana yahan se vedo ka mantra padhe the they studied here aur dev dev mahadev alochaya tantra aur devadi dev mahadev ne and devadi dev mahadev in this vidyanagar brahma started the tantra vidya brahma ne apne charo mukh se and brahma ji vedo ke charo bhago ka with his four heads yan pathan prapt studied the vedas here rishi gan prarthnaya karil uday rishi muniyon ki prarthna se brahma ji yahan par charo vedo ko nivedan kiya tha kapil rachil sankhya yahi sthane basi इन दिस प्लेस भगवान कपिल मुनि भगवान कपिल देव ने ही इज फेमस फॉर हिस्सा 
but did he ever thought that where he, it was written this is the place where it was written in ritu dweep in vidyanagar to kapil rasil sankhi yahi sthano baki nyay tark prakashil shri gautam rishi aur gautam rishi ne isi sthan par gautam rishi aur tark ka prakashan kiya tha nyay and tark ke jaimini mimansa further he adds prakash jaimini rishi jaimini rishi shastra ki mimansa rod ka prakash kiya about mimansa he prakashil rishi vedavyas shri vedavyas muni ne and shri vedavyas muni purano ka prakashan kiya established or read the puranas etc here narad muni ne yahan par panch ratri and narad muni wrote panch ratrik system here prakash ya jeev gane sikhaye sadhan so is prakar so in this way logo ne yahan par so many people vidya prapt got education from here pahuncha hai govindi ji is reached this is a beautiful place where they have reached sarobhum bhattacharya in vidyanagar vachaspati sarvabhum bhattacharya and vachaspati they both have their homes in who is sarvabhum bhattacharya jab swarg ke guru brihaspati ko pata chala the spiritual master of the swarg shani mahaprabhu ke roop mein prakash realized that the lord is going to manifest as chaitanya mahaprabhu sarvabhum bhattacharya ka roop lekar he came as sarvabhum bhattacharya and manifested in navdweep acharya dev guru brihaspati hain aur unke bhai and he is lord brahm and his brother is vidya vachaspati aur and they both resided here san 1460 mein and in year 1460 bhattacharya ka janm hua he was born par unhone gyan grahan kiya and he got the knowledge samay ke phir baad mein wo jagannath puri chale gaye and as you might be aware that he went to jagannath puri and met chaitanya mahaprabhu aap dekhoge so here are 11 trees in this place if you see kisi bhi vruksh ki jati mein nahi aate and they do not they don't belong to any 20 lakh prakar ke ped podhe hai na wo 20 lakh species of the trees why because these 11 trees are were grown by chaitanya mahaprabhu wo likhne wali kalam hoti hai na jisse hum likhte hain pencil to mahaprabhu ne wo kalam yahan par ugayi thi jo vruksh ban kar prakat hui hai kyunki ye vidyanagar hai na vidya ka sthan vidya ka gadh hai to shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ne wo kalam ugayi thi aap यहाँ पर भी देख सकते हैं ये वाली महाप्रभु ने कलम यहाँ उगाई थी ये वृक्ष बनकर प्रकट हुआ फिलहाल यहाँ पर भक्ति सिद्धांत सदस्य महाराज के द्वारा गौड़िया मठ बन चुका है इस गौड़िया मठ एस्टेब्लिश बाय भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर तो पांच दिन तक यहाँ पर रुके थे so, पर जो आप देख रहे हो महाप्रभु स्टेट हेयर फॉर फाइव Five days. But This is the home of Nit Vachaspati, and when he stayed here, then thousands of people gathered to see him. And when he realized this, he left for Kulia village. Here, it's a beautiful Gaur Gadadhar deities. श्री गौर गदाधर की तो इस प्रकार से बहुत सुंदर गौर गदाधर का विग्रह है यहाँ से इस रास्ते से थोड़ी दूर की ओर चले तो थोड़ी फॉकलिटल फर्दर भट्टाचार्य का घर हुआ करता था उस जमाने में देर इज अम ऑफ श्री सार्वभौम भट्टाचार्य एंड दीज आर दीज सर्व बाई हिम that you can see shri shri radha syam sundar and gorang mahaprabhu devtao ke guru brihaspati sarvabhum bhattacharya ban kar aaye the spiritual master of demigods came as sarvabhum bhattacharya 
and he used to serve these deities. पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दिस यात्रा I thank you all, and because of all the other devotees, even we are getting this opportunity to have this yatra. So I'm really grateful. Especially want to thank the organizers because if they are not there, then we won't be able to have this yatra in such a grand manner. So I want to express my gratitude to the host who have supported this eighth day from Canada, Sita Thapa, Sumina Ji, Supriya Ji, and from Bhopal, Narendra Gupta Ji, love and light. I thank you all. and please continue to listen and tomorrow is the last day of the yatra and you can share your experiences whatever you like or just like so you can express your feelings tomorrow anumodan aap bahut acha karte hain lekin anumodan ke dauran yatra ke darshan ki mahima yatra mein During the anumodan, you should give the glories of the places and the places. So, you should glorify the yatra and the past times of the Lord rather than glorifying me. If we listen like that, then even we will feel ecstatic. So we have no qualification. Whatever is happening is happening because of by the mercy of Guru Maharaj and mercy of Sri La Prabhupad. and by the potency of the lord and i have there is no none of my effort we are just taking the credit so with this i would like to conclude with jay jay kar the eighth day of this katha shrinavati mandal parikrama ki श्री गौर मंडल परिक्रमा की